and welcome back guys to yet another Mushroom Fleet speed build. Uh, just in front of me is one of my schematic conversion sort of log cabins and I'm using that for scale so um, I can't remember exactly how long that is over there but it's probably about 40 something like that 40 by 40 something like that sped up the footage as usual so uh, the first thing I do is I build myself out a little frame so I can put the uh, symmetry mode on and then I get on with it and today I'm building the mushroom slice so it's like a pizza slice or pizza topping sort of shape it's um, a return to an AMC type build for me um, it's only going to have 12 groups and they're going to be 20 by 20 each group I think that's how I tried to have it set up um, and they'll run straight along the middle of the ship so you know uh, it's pretty straightforward actually I mean the idea was I thought well the bit I want to get destroyed last is, is, the, is the weaponry followed by the power followed by the shields I don't know maybe that's not a good strategy but um, I figured I want to be able to shoot for as long as possible so yeah but yeah so 20 by 20 by 20 and there'll be one in front of the other and they run along the width of the ship um, and so yeah the idea is that the weapons are deep inside the middle um, and then I fill in the gaps with shields because you know may as well I'm starting to think about not filling in the gaps you know lately um, just because you know there's more room elsewhere and if you don't use it up then it's you know air is not mass so but there you go so we start putting on the uh, power tanks obviously with the symmetry mode set up the way it is anything I do at the back will also be done at the front and on both sides So I'm putting in the beginnings of my mushroom slice shape. Obviously the idea is that you should cut the mushroom downwards, like when you actually put mushrooms on a pizza. Um, there's a bit of confusion as to the shape in the community. So uh, just want to confirm, once the hull is on, it'll look like the type of pizza slice you get on a pizza. Yeah, so not, not so you know, sliced down the height the y-axis for all you star made builders cut the mushroom on the y-axis <laughs> uh, and so you know it's pretty simple I mean look at it if it's not a mushroom it's a table tennis bat you know what I mean <laughs> uh, so here we are filling all of the power tanks in uh, shouldn't take too long because once I get to the end I just sort of cut off the edge with remove and again, symmetry is your friend. <laughs> and basic idea I had was that everything on this ship is connected as one group. Except for the weaponry, of course. There are 12 groups with the AMCs. Um, so these shields, all the shields will attack, will connect. All the power blocks will connect in one group. So no matter what I do with it, it's all one group. And I know that you don't necessarily get a bonus for putting your shields all in one group or I don't think you do but I just think it I just find it cooler when I'm building the ship to have it all connected I don't know why it's just for some reason having them all connected just makes it feel like more of a plan and you know you're not just slapping everything down <clears throat> but there you go I've also fallen fond of these sort of blocky transistor type circuit board style design <coughs> and obviously these will be my thrusters and I figured if I'm going to put thrusters all over the ship I don't need them to be big blocks at the back they can still all be connected so uh, up until that point I had no power rechargers so I just chucked a power line down there that it's going to get removed at the end of this video once I've actually put the real reactors in and we're back so now it's time to put in the power rechargers I decided to use the same block 
rea uh, box react type uh, that I'd been using in my previous build. Only I'll do something a little bit different this time. Instead of having it stick out, I'll wrap it around the hull. So, you know, I'm going to let the uh, let it cling in and follow the shape of the ship a little bit more. Um, and then, like I say, uh, I found it actually had pretty comparable performance. I only had to put two of these box reactors in to get close to a million energy per second. And as the cap is 1.2, I'm not really interested in brute forcing recharge. Because to be honest, this is focused on power storage. Um, I think it has 4.2 billion energy storage. This particular ship we're looking at right now. So 4.2 billion energy storage basically means that I can fire for as long as I need to. If I can't kill him in that time, then I'm not going to win. So recharge isn't really going to make any difference at that point. You know, if I've got the storage, I can fire for as long as possible. But if I've got the recharge, then it's a balancing act between my shields, my energy, my thrust. Whereas if I've just got stacks of power storage, you know, I can move, I can shoot, my shields will recharge, regardless of my recharge level. Because the sheer amount of power is it's just so much power, you'll never use it. Even if you had a one energy recharge per second, you know, if you manage to use all that power, uh, the recharge is not going to help you. <laughs> so here we are going with the thrust again. Thrust is connected all in one group. So although I'm filling in these gaps, I'm making sure that they're all attached. Anybody with a keen eye will notice that I actually put down two weapons computers in symmetry mode and only one of them is linked up to the AMCs and the other one is buried somewhere in the back of the ship. But I don't care. <laughs> it's only one computer. But if you notice that, uh, fair play to you because it happened really quickly. <laughs> So here we go now, my idea was to um, more or less cover the power, so the tanks and the regenerators, with thrusters. Because we're going to need a lot of thrust, because this thing's going to be big. Once we got the uh, hull on here, it should still be quite efficient on thrust. Because obviously, the amount of thrust it has now is good but once we've got a little bit more mass on there it's not going to be as great and if you've not guessed already i'm going to be exposing a lot of the internals so there is a reason or uh, for all of these funny little patterns and designs the blockiness i want to have some of it on show i'm not just going to completely cover up the whole thing as you can see, I'm putting this just above one side for scale there. I toyed with the idea of docking it <laughs> and then just making that where I go and get on the ship. But I want to have some turrets on here. And as you can see, those weapons are firing. So we're just going to take a look in the uh, structure tab and check out the AMC system. And we've got 2 million power usage with 300k DPS. Which is not bad, when you think about it. It's not bad. I mean, it should have been 10 groups. I don't know why there's 12, but 12 is fine. I'm only going to be taking a slight hit on power. Even though the whole point of the design was to not for that not to be an issue. But I guess there's 6 on each side, so I thought there would only be 5 on each side. But of course there's 1 behind it, so that would make sense. Okay, so yeah, putting a camera up front, that's always a good idea. Um, I considered putting a faction block in front of my camera. I never thought of doing that. And I didn't, in the end I didn't, but I'm going to try that out, because if someone shoots your camera, they've got to have more than a thousand damage per shot to, to, to destroy the faction block in front of it. Maybe it's a bad idea, I don't know. People use it in front of their core, and I figure... My camera is a bit more important in the middle of a fight. So anyway, started to try and uh, test out these AMCs on this little oil cabin, which 
which I've got floating out here for scale and it ripped through that pretty easy but then it had no shields so let's go and check it out on this ship <clears throat> this has minimal shields it cuts through that too I mean to be honest the damage on these cannons is a bit silly um, but because there's only 12 groups it's manageable to tweak them you know, I'll tweak 12 groups no problem so yeah at this point I'm just testing it out and as you can see from the power it's barely moving it's barely moving at all I mean because of the ship's insane power storage you'd have to log in for like 10 20 minutes to get it to fully charge up but uh, from playing this game I can tell you you'll be idle for 20 minutes if you're planning on doing any PvP at some point <laughs> Um, also, just to point a note, this ship is only, it's less than 200 in all dimensions, and it's actually less than 50 in the uh, smallest dimension, the height. So it's not a big ship. So we've got the gel, we're going to do one click, we're going to do a three second uh, pulse. Um, what else are we going to do? Oh yeah, uh, one second, two second, three second, four, you know, one click, second wait, you know click wait a second fire again and then we're going to just have a look at the penetration on it um, it's not amazing but then I hope to increase the rate of fire and decrease the damage because right now these things have got like 6,000 damage and 5,000 distance and it's just silly so I'm going to take a lot out of the damage because anything over 600 is a waste unless you're taking down shields which you know, I could be, but pff, maybe I'll leave a few of them at the standard so that we've still got the ability to take shields down. I don't know. Depends what you want it to do. Is it going to be shooting at ships with lots of shields? Or is it going to be shooting at little ships? If it's little ships, you only want like 600 damage. If it's big ships, you want as much as possible. But as soon as the shields are down, all that damage is wasted because you only need a 600 to kill most blocks or something like that so if you know if you've got 6,000 damage you're basically nine times the damp you know the HP of the blocks the uh, whole armor you know nine times that damage is just lost because it doesn't it doesn't carry over you know once the blocks destroyed it doesn't keep going another shot has to go and keep going there so so that's focused fire and this is unfocused fire with right click as you can see, it's, you know, just fires where the guns are, which is cool in a way, you know, spread fire mode. Even though now that you only, can only have like 10 to 12 groups sufficiently, spread fire is a bit pointless. But, you know, you can still use it if you want. I don't know what you'd use it for, but you can use it. Because um, it was really handy when you had the shotgun builds, because you could do a spread fire shotgun burst, but can't really do a shotgun anymore maybe I'll have another go at doing that in a later episode I'm sure someone's figured it out I mean I bet with this much power storage I mean if I made like a capital version of this style of ship I bet it would have insane power and I've been hearing from some of my mushroom fleet bros they've been power they've been brute forcing their power and uh, you know, they've been getting in insane amounts of recharge. So I think someone had over 200 million recharge, which is pretty impressive. So anyway, 2.4, or sorry, 4.20 billion energy storage with a 900 energy per second recharge. The Shroom Slice, work in progress. Come back soon and check it out. Um, I'm gonna be doing some more work on this. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Not for you. I'd play with that for you. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I've killed someone. Finally. 
first thing I tried to build was my surfboard <laughs> and obviously that doesn't really work you have to get in the cock and release the docking cap <laughs> <laughs> P3, 12 o'clock. Oh, he's rammed me. That's unfortunate. Got free look, zoom, and the character will sort of pin. So as you can see, I'm rotating like that. Uh, normal movement controls, same as if you're running about. So uh, guns don't actually fire yet. So And also large ships can only have the... Um, Oh no! Right, press X soon. Soon. Right, burn a little bit longer towards the blue thing. Oh, 2019, 16, god that kills everyone. True, true. <laughs> Other than that, I'm at a bit of a loss. But Camino anyway, Summer, I hear... Pure Amazing, Fantas Longhorn, and Seron 16 play. <laughs> Bot Survival.